Hey guys, Melissa here. In this video, I want to show you how I made these earrings, which screw into your earlobe like little corkscrews. So I need the mirror. Put the end through, twist it around. In there, just like that. Same with this side. Twist that around until you reach the little end. So, and there they are. And these guys are locked in. They won't come out. So if you guys wanna see how I made these, stay tuned and I'll show you how. All right, let's get started. So all the tools and materials you need will be down in the description. Here I have some 20 gauge sterling silver wire. And all you're gonna need is about 10 inches, two lengths of five inches. Mine come in a big spool, so it might have a natural curve. I'm gonna keep that. I don't want them totally straight. If you got an old pen or marker that uh, can't be used anymore, preferably clear, grab one of those. I'm gonna determine how long I want my dangly. And make my loop on the end first. One of the first things I do, actually gonna bend these Bend those 180 degrees. And bend them downward. Like that. Do the same thing to the other side. Make a loop. Nope, not the right angle. Okay, I want those to be matching. Okay, now I'm going to start pounding them out. Slowly flare it out and then taper it back. I'm going to leave my loop hanging off the side and then gently start shaping it. same time so you can keep track of their shapes.
you get your um the shape that you want then you can go ahead and shape your corkscrew okay so you're gonna fit your earring in there I'm going to go ahead and do it with both of them so that they match at least. Twist your wire towards the back. So this part is going to hang in the ear. Let me go ahead and do the same to this one. Let's go ahead and make our spirals. How far is that? Half an inch down. Start making your spiral. Let's see, that curves this way, so I'm going to spiral this way. This is going to be the front of the earring, so I want the spiral to kind of end in the back. I like a nice wide corkscrew. shape your wire to match the other one. Pretty close. Okay, so I grabbed some crystal bicones and I wrap some in my head pins, my handmade head pins. I'll link a video up above how I made my head pins. So these earrings are pretty cool. They don't take a lot of material. It just takes some time to get them equal as is any spiral earring. Getting them to match can be tricky. I'm still adjusting. And I'm still looking at them from all angles, trying to get them to match. And of course, with any earring, sand the end of it so it's not sharp. This is just a sharpening stone.
And if you got a tumbler, it wouldn't be a bad idea to tumble these for a little bit to harden them up so they don't lose their shape. This is just one variation of the corkscrew earring style. Possibilities are endless with these. As I end this video, I'll scroll through some pictures of different variations of this design. Feel free to use those as guidance. But that's it for me guys. I hope you liked this video. I hope you learned a lot. Hit the like button if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time.